Good morning and welcome to my English class. Once again, I am here with the third part of the chapter, The Ship of the Desert. This is Unit 10 from your English Literature book. So children, in the last classes you have seen the information about lion and the camel. And then in the second class you have seen the story the ship of the desert from extra mark and today again you will see the full story from extra mark okay children so let us see the story the ship of the desert ship of the desert <sighs> who are you i am the ship of the desert who are you don't you know me I am the king of the forest. Are you? Oh, I see. You call yourself the ship of the desert? How can you be a ship? You are an animal. So I am. But people call me the ship of the desert. I can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. The sand burns but it doesn't bother me. I can't believe it. Can you walk across a desert? No, I can't, but I can run in the forest. Ah, every animal can do that. I alone can run on sand. I can run on sand at 25 kilometers an hour. Oh, how can you do that? Look at my feet. They are thick and padded. The hot sun does not burn them. My feet are padded too. Thorns do not prick them. And I can run 80 kilometers an hour. That is true. You can run 80 kilometers an hour in the forest, but uh, can you run even a mile on the hot sand? Maybe not, but... And you cannot live without water for a week, can you? No, I can't. I need water every day. But don't tell me you can do without water. Yes, I can. There are no rivers or lakes in a desert. But that does not bother me. I can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. Really? You must have a big stomach. <laughs> yes, I have a big stomach. I can store water for a week. I can store food for two weeks even. Mm, do you store food in your stomach? No, I don't. I store it in my hump. I eat a lot of food at one time. Then I don't need to eat for a fortnight. That's interesting. But what do you eat? I eat leaves. But there are no leaves in a desert. What do you eat there? There are thorny bushes in the desert. I eat thorns. The thorns do not prick my thick tongue. How funny. Mr. King of the forest, please come with me to the desert. No, no. I would better not. I can't walk on burning sand. I can't store food and water. And I can't eat thorns. Goodbye and good luck. Mr. Ship of the Desert. After hearing the story, the ship of the desert, we got to know why camel is called the ship of the desert. Because camel is the only animal which can survive in the hot weather of the desert. And which can live for more than two weeks without food and water. So okay children, now let us do some word meanings and make sentences. Word meanings. Ship of the desert. Camel is known as the ship of the desert. Make sentences. Ship of the desert can live without food and water for many days. Number two word meaning miles. A very long way. My house is 12 miles away from my school. Number three sand tiny grains of rock 
a desert is full of sand. Number four, thorns, a small sharp pointed tip. The rose plant has thorns on it. And the last one, king of the jungle, another name of lion. Lion is the king of the forest. Okay children, that's all for today's class. We'll meet again in the next class with the same chapter with probable questions and textual grammar. Thank you and have a nice day.